Hey yo fellow investors, how are you doing? My name is Tang and welcome to my YouTube channel. The last week for Nouveau Monde Graphite was filled with dilution, panic selling and overall bad times. And I've already done two videos, first on the dilution and second on the pricing, so check out those two if you want to get up to date quick. But in this video we're digging deep into the draft shelf prospectus. So first we're going through all the information we know. And we'll try to predict whether further dilution is planned to happen. And I'll give you guys my own buy targets. So now let's go. So we're looking at the preliminary prospective supplement, which is a filing for offering shares in Canada. And this is obviously still a draft, which becomes obvious knowing that there's no price stated on this filing. Well, from a recent news article, we know that Nuvamonde will sell the shares at $7.5 per share. So if you enjoy doing this deep digging yourself as well, make sure to stay up to date on Nuvamonde's CDAR page. And maybe then you can even find the definite filing before I can. Oh, and by the way, if the definite filing is interesting enough, I'll do an update for sure at the end of this week. And we're expecting this offering to happen on the 23rd of June, so that's next Wednesday. So as you already knew from my last videos, 7 million shares will be offered during this public offering. So the 7 million shares will be offered at $7.5 per share, and the people that are buying the shares get access to a 15% option plan, so that will be 1 million shares extra with an expiration date of 30 days at $7.5 per share as well. So $7.5 per share will be priced to public in US dollars, and we do not know the underwriter's fee. So we do not know the net proceeds to the corporation. And this is really important information, but we'll need to wait on the definite filing for this information. And there's at least a $1 million fee, excluding the underwriter's fees. So if every share and option gets sold, there will be 8 million shares for this public offering at $7.5 per share. And aside from the public offering, there will be a private placement at 1.7 million shares at the offering price of $7.5 per share. And this private placement will also have an additional 15% or 262,000 shares as an option plan. And the private placement is expected to close 45 days after the public offering. So 45 days after the 23rd of June. And I'm assuming most of you know the long-term plans of Nouveau Monde. And if not, I've done many videos on that in the past, so I would advise checking out those to start off your research. Anyways, they're currently commissioning their Lip Anode Plant project, and they're expecting to have their Metawini Mine project up and running in the year 2023. And we now know the cost associated with the Lip Anode Plant. So the total capital cost for this plant will be $37 million. So there's additional financing required to finish this plant, which will be approximately $20 million. And they have broken up the cost associated with this plant, so check this out if this interests you. So for this information, we're obviously waiting for the definite filing. But we at least know that the public offering will be used to finance both the Metawini mine and the Lip Anode plant, and that the private placement will only go towards the Metawini mine. So this leads me to believe that the money gained from this public offering will be enough to finance the Lip Anode plant completely. So let's keep the following numbers in mind. The total project, so the mine and the anode plant, was expected to cost $276 million during their feasibility study. And from this page we can see that Nuvamonde has previously raised $102 million using their common shares and $50 million using bonds. So in total they've raised about $120 million so far. So 276 minus 120 means they need to raise about $150 million as of right now. And my best guess is that from this offering they'll be able to raise about 65 to $70 million. So after next Wednesday they still need to raise about 75 to $80 million to complete the whole project. And I think that money is mainly meant for the mine, since from this documentation it seems that the lip anode plant is fully financed after this public offering. And keep in mind this mine should become operational in the year 2023. Also keep in mind that starting from mid this year the anode plant should be up and running and generating cash flows. So the lip anode plant could be taking care of some of the portions needed to fully fund the mine. So from the numbers we've seen here, I think we can safely assume that some dilution will still need to happen 
to get this project off the floor. And my best guess is that somewhere next year we'll be hit with further dilution of this stock. But of course, time will tell. I for sure hope that the stock price is a little bit higher by then, so we need to dilute less shares. Oh, and by the way, if we go to my Excel spreadsheet for price calculations, the company still seems to be a great buy at around $12, even if they were to dilute 10 million shares during this public offering. Oh, and check this out. If we were to dilute 20 million shares, so twice as much as during this public offering, the company still seems to be a great buy at around $10 per share. And that is of course according to the following assumptions. So we're assuming a conservative revenue calculation for the year 2023. Of course, the year 2023, it's currently 2021. Ignore the dilution here, we're diluting the shares differently during these calculations. A future price sales ratio of five and a discount rate of 15%, which is extremely conservative. So even with all these conservative estimations and a dilution of 20 million shares, which is twice as high as this public offering, Nuvo Mondo still seems to be able to go up to $40 per share before 2023 and they still seem to be a great buy at about $10 per share. And also keep in mind that once they raise more capital, the risk of this company decreases. So we're currently assuming a margin of safety of 65%. But if they were to dilute next year and raise all the capital needed for the project, I would decrease this number to about 50%. And that, of course, increases the buy targets. So yeah, I'm still hella bullish on this company, even after this heavy dilution. Oh, and this is in no way financial advice. I'm just sharing the views I have on this company with you guys. And I'm obviously no financial advisor. And of course, there's way more information in this document we just talked about. So I would totally advise skimming through this document yourself if it interests you. Anyways, I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and maybe even subscribe. Comment down below what you want to talk about next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.